How we doing today, YouTube? Deesky from Deesky Grills back with another cooking video. And today, we are hooking up prime time smoked tri-tip on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Folks, can't wait to show you this cook. Another easy one to do. Just a few ingredients is all we're gonna use today. We're starting off with the It's Incredible for our base coat. We're going heavy with the black seasoning. This is a mixture of coffee, molasses, and other spices that's perfect on beef. We have two beautiful prime tri-tips that we're gonna hang on that Gateway Drum Smoker. So think about it, folks. We're gonna hang these tri-tips on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Pecan infusion is gonna be happening throughout the whole process. When we get to around 140 degrees, we're gonna pull these babies, meet you at the cutting board, cut these babies up, and have some awesome pecan smoke tri-tip made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. I wanna thank you as always for joining me, and let's get cooking. Okay, folks, so we are at the cutting board, and I just wanted to show you an up-close of these beautiful tri-tips. So again, USDA prime beef. Um, you can see by the intense marbling, these things are gonna be absolutely amazing. And when you hang these things on the Gateway Drum Smoker, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome end result, okay? I mean, nothing, nothing smokes like the Gateway Drum Smoker. So, uh, we can get these opened up real quick. And we'll go ahead and start the seasoning process and do it all right now. I'm excited about it. Um, the, the butcher did a really good job, you can see, of trimming already. So no trimming is needed here. We'll take the other one off. I mean, look at that. These things have been trimmed down just perfectly. All right, I'm gonna get them flipped over first. Okay, so you're talking about seasoning. We're gonna come first with our roasted garlic olive oil. I'm gonna add some to this side and on the other tri-tip as well. And what we wanna do is we just wanna get that coated in that will act as our binder. You guys know about this. We do this all the time here on DSQ Grills. Awesome garlic flavor. I'm telling you, I buy, I buy this off Amazon. I would definitely recommend this. This thing is uh, a really good olive oil. It infuses your meats really good with that flavor of garlic. Okay, so now we're gonna come back with my favorite, the It's Incredible. We're going heavy as our base coat. Now what I'm gonna do, of course, is let this sit on the cutting board uh, while we go get the grill ready. But to have this done and have these uh, flavors soaking into the meat is gonna uh, help elevate our flavor level or our final product as far as it being just full of flavor. All right, let's get the edges here. Okay, let's get the edges here. Don't wanna leave anything out. Okay, so we did heavy coat of It's Incredible on this side. Now we're coming back with the black seasoning. This is my last bottle. I better get some more on order. We may use up quite a bit on this cook here. Okay, so again, heavy dose of this stuff as well. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side, but I just wanted to show you uh, what the seasoning looks like for today's cook. Okay, we'll do a little pat. And then it's no more than just flipping and repeating, folks. So here's my flip and repeat. Okay, I'll get back at you when it's time to go check out the grill setup. Okay, folks, we are outside with the Gateway Drum Smoker. I'm gonna show you the grill setup really quick. What we have going on is Kingsford charcoal. I put one wax starter cube down on the bottom. Okay, so we have that going. And all we're gonna do, folks, is let this grill get up to around 275 to 300 degrees. And at that time, we'll be hanging those beautiful prime tri-tips on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Now, uh, along with that, we are hitting it with pecan flavor, right? So we're coming with pecan wood. Let me just show you what we'll be using. We'll be using the Western pecan chunks today. So as we get closer to 275, we'll drop in two or three chunks of that to infuse those tri-tips, close it up and let it do its thing, okay? So just wanted to show you that. Gateway Drum Smoker is still looking good after about two years. Um, I could, um, I'm, I'm kind of do a paint job on it. Some areas I'll show you starting to rust around the handle area. So we could do a better job of that and maybe I'll get it um, all uh, painted again get some of that high um, heat paint on there and just kind of redo the thing. But it's been a wonderful smoker. I can't complain at all. Uh, the quality has been absolutely great. Now, in the meantime, since we're together, I have the Glen Blue Kettle warming up right now. We're gonna grill up some veggies and things like that. So I just figured I'd get that going and do that while, while we're babysitting that tri-tip. So, okay, folks, we'll get back together in a little bit. See you in a bit. 
Okay, YouTube, we are back and we are at my favorite part of the video and that's let's get cooking. Check out where we're at, folks. We're almost at around 275 degrees on the Gateway Drum Smoker. We have our pecan chunks we're gonna go ahead and drop in. Let me get this opened up. Now, you, when you're dealing with these drum smokers, you gotta get in and out quick because you definitely don't want the heat to spike. But we have some really, really nice pecan chunks. We're gonna get one dropped in here. And I'm gonna do one more there. Okay, so we have our pecan loaded. Now let me show you the stars of the show. Two beautiful prime tri-tips that we're gonna hang on this drum smoker. Look at these babies. I'll bring you up close once we get them hung. Now the plan, we're gonna rotate these about every 20 minutes to make sure they cook evenly. I'll bring you up close, but these things look phenomenal. I'm all kind of excited about this cook. Let's check it out real quick. Okay, folks, so this is what we got going on. We're going to infuse these tri-tips with pecan smoke flavor, get the lid closed, and I'll get back with you guys when it's time to rotate the first 20 minutes in. See you in a bit. Okay, YouTube, we are back, and I am excited to show you just the beautiful light smoke we have coming out of the Gateway Drum Smoker. We are sitting at around 270 degrees right now on the dial. You can see what I mean about the rust or the paint that's peeling now on the handle. But um, again, I'm, I'm thinking to just go ahead and sand this thing down and repaint it again. Maybe do it in a black next time. I don't know. But just great, great product. I tell you, Gateway Drum Smokers, they turn out some phenomenal end result. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up, let you guys see it. This is 20 minutes into the cook. As you can see, again, that beautiful smoky environment. All we're going to do now is turn this baby All right, we just want to keep it cooking. What we want to do is have this have it cooking evenly, so we just turned it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get it shut back down, and we'll get back together in 20 more minutes. Coming along really, really well. Okay, folks, we are back. We are about 30 minutes into the cook. I'm going to go ahead and get it opened up, and what we're going to do now is start checking internal temps. So we'll grab one of these tri-tips and just start seeing where we're at. Okay. Oh yeah, we're getting close. I got 130 right now. I'm gonna plug this one real quick, see what it looks like. Yeah, same thing, about 135 here. Okay, so what we have is about 10 more degrees to go. We're gonna go ahead and turn it again. I tell you, it looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead and get it shut back down. I'll meet you guys at the cutting board when it's time to check out the final product of our pecan smoked prime time tri-tip made on the gateway drum smoker see you guys in a bit okay folks we are back checking out the final product of our pecan smoked prime tri-tips made on the gateway drum smoker folks i can't wait to unveil this lid and show you the finished product it is going to be absolutely amazing but first let's talk about what we did we started off with garlic infused olive oil and we put that on both of the tri-tips from there, we went with a heavy dose of the It's Incredible, came back and followed that with the black seasoning. Now, if you remember, the black seasoning is a coffee blend with molasses and other herbs and spices that are awesome on beef. Okay, we went out there and we did the hang method. That's what made this so special. We hung those two tri-tips on the Gateway Drum Smoker. We went 15 minutes, turned it about 90 degrees, 15 minutes, 90 degrees, and we continued that on for one hour. Now, as this thing was cooking, Juices were hitting the charcoal, infusing flavors from that wood and that charcoal back into these tri-tips. So now I'm gonna open it up and show you this beautiful final product. It's been resting for about 15 minutes. I want you to see just awesomeness. Look at this, folks. Smoked to perfection. We're gonna go ahead now and take our hooks out. All right, and what I'm gonna do, we'll put one on the cutting board. We gotta cut one up and check it out. So let's get this to the side. Let's grab one of these beauties over here. Okay, folks, so here's one of our beautiful tri-tips. We're gonna go ahead, and if you know about tri-tip, you know that it runs in two different grain directions. So you have to follow the grain pattern to make sure you cut it the right way for maximum tenderness. So what we're gonna do first is cut it right here in the middle. And I want you to see this beautiful prime beef. Look at this, folks. Look at the beautiful, beautiful smoky color. Absolutely amazing. All right, I'm gonna move this to the side. Now let's try to find the grain pattern, see what we got going on. Okay, 
Okay, got it. All right, so this one here, the grain pattern is going this way, so we wanna cut against the grain, all right? So what we'll do is we'll start cutting our slices this way, all right? And I want you to see beautiful prime beef at its finest. Wonderful smoke ring, tender through and through. It's cutting like butter, folks. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what D-Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, really it's not a pastime, it's a passion. This is gonna be so enjoyable. I'm gonna show you this again, up close and personal. Look at this beautiful tri-tip, awesome smoke ring. Gonna do a taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I can't stop chewing. Okay, I don't know how to explain it. It's absolutely amazing. The pecan smoke, you taste those spices. You know that this thing was getting done right in that gateway drum smoker. It is a smoking machine. You see the smoke ring all the way around on this tri-tip? Folks, this is a treat. If you have a drum smoker, you have to give this a shot, okay? You have to. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. I'm gonna close this video out. I am so excited. I'm gonna keep cutting up this goodness, but we will get back together on the next video. And again, I appreciate you hanging in there with me. See you on the next one. I think this is food art. You gotta have food art. Look at that. Wonderful. Catch you on the next one.